Okay. Well, considering I've worked on this car quite a few times, I think I can speak on some authority about the engine. Um, as you can see here, I've done a lot of work on my car. Um, a lot of repetitive. I've replaced the engine three times. But what I wanted to do is just get everybody familiar with what a rotary engine bay on a 93 to 95 uh, Mazda RX-7 actually looks like. Because there's so much crap under the hood, um, it can get, get pretty uh, daunting. So with all my chrome parts in here, what I can do is actually simplify the flow of air. That's really the easiest way to, to get used to an engine bay is to figure out where the air comes in, follow it all the way through the path, and then find out where the air goes out through the exhaust. So what you'll see here is on my intake system, uh, this is obviously not stock, um, it's for you know the twin turbos, there's two of them, one for each turbocharger, um, the air comes in right through here. So you'll see the air traveling along this baby pipe back here and then goes off into the darkness. What it's actually doing is it's going into the turbocharger right from there. Um, it's a little too dark on the camera, but as you can see my hand going into the abyss, um, I'm pointing at the front of one of the two turbochargers. Rest assured they're there, trust me, I've replaced them quite a few times. So what happens is, it comes, air comes through the turbochargers, gets spun up, goes up through what's called a Y-pipe, which puts the two turbochargers air back together, and then goes through this pipe here, and in my case, goes to a front mount intercooler. So from this side to this side, there's a huge, what looks like a radiator with hot air coming in. It brushes against air moving past it going this way. And colder, not cold, but colder air comes out here. Uh, when I'm actually running the car pretty hard, you know, the people ask, can you feel the, the difference? Actually, yeah, if you put your hand here, it's going to be burning pretty hot. Over here, Still hot, but not nearly as hot as this. So it's pretty fascinating to feel um, the heat differences between the two. So we're still following the air. Uh, mind you, this is all pressurized, so um, air coming from the turbochargers is going to, before it's going to be hot now, and it's going to be pressurized, now it's just hot and, well, no, sorry, now it's just pressurized. So the air travels up into what's called the upper intake manifold, the one I've put hours and hours and hours of shining and it's still dull but it makes its way through the throttle body if you press the gas you know, once again into the darkness this is the throttle cable so you're adjusting what's called butterfly valves those little things that open them out of air open and close them they're in here so adjusting them out of air but once again the air is flowing through here still pressurized and then also falling off into the darkness uh, but except this one's not going to the turbochargers, this one's actually going to this front of the uh, rotors. So these first two pipes, as they look like it, both go to the front rotor. Now, I won't go into too much detail about a rotary engine, but two of these go into one rotary engine. <laughs> Excuse me, two of these go into one rotor, the other two go into the back rotor. So actually, five seconds, I'll show you. I don't know if I mess here. That's a rotary engine. So, um, on each side, the uh, air will go in there. Now, I won't go into too much detail, not because it's complicated, but because I don't know. So, um, going back to the engine, the air f comes in through this way, um, spun through the engine, ignited with fuel, and comes out the exhaust. Now, what's surprising about a turbocharged engine, won't be much of a surprise to you guys that understand this, but it actually goes back to the turbos. Uh, before you say, wait, isn't that mixing with intake air? No, it's not. It's actually on the other side of the turbos, spinning and pressurizing the intake air. So it makes a nice little circle there. Um, once it goes through the turbochargers, it's then made out through the exhaust, and you can follow it all the way back to the back of the car. So that's a brief introduction into the uh, air systems for the 93 Mazda RX-7. Obviously, this is not a stock engine, uh, but all the engines generally behave the same way. This is a tw twin turbocharged engine, so um, you'll get that much. Any twin turbocharged RX-7 will behave like this one.